there, it's Swiftkey, and welcome to my new Let's Play, The Last Door. So I'm getting the spooky month's festivities started a little early. I know it's still only September, but for those of you who don't know me very well, I absolutely love Halloween and fall. They are, it's my favorite season, it's my favorite holiday, and I absolutely love October and everything about it. So. I really want to play horror games for the month of October. So this is the first of the horror games I will be playing. Like I said, I'm a little early. It's still September. But by the time this video goes up, it will be very close to October. So welcome to my first horror game. Um, this looks like a really cool little game. I found it on Steam. Uh, it had really good reviews. It's basically um, a very pixelated, kind of low quality, not, not low quality, but like not very high quality in terms of, you know, the graphics type of game. It's point and click um, and it's set in Victorian England. And other than that, I don't know a whole lot about it. Again, I like to avoid spoilers, but I'm very excited to see what this game is like. So let's go into episodes. And we are clearly gonna start with episode one, The Letter. So let's get into it. Yeah, my cat's gonna weigh in, sorry about that. After all the things I have seen. Do, do I need to click? Yes. Uh, spooky green room, okay. Oh, am I controlling you? Oh, I got a rope, okay, that's a thing. Oh, do I have to make you commit suicide? Really? We're gonna start the game with suicide? That's a bit much. I, I guess I am. You picked up a noose, and that's a chair. After all the things I have done... Oh my god, do I really have to do this? Uh, oh. I cannot escape the course my life has taken. Yep, we're doing this. Okay, now I am beyond redemption. Oh god. I just hope you can forgive me someday. Oh god, I have to kick the- oh, really? We're gonna start on that note? Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Oh, really? Damn. The last door. All right, on that cherry note, a game by the game kitchen. Now, uh, do we get the credits before the game starts? I'm digging the music. Do, 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 do. I love violins, so anything with violins is. I enjoy it. Lots of crow imagery. Phoenix Online Publishing. This game is community powered. Join now and leave your mark. Lastdoor.com. Special thanks. Oh. Dramatic upbeat. All right. October 1891. Sorry if you can hear my cat. It'll add to the ambiance. Uh, is that Latin? I, I'm terrible with languages, I apologize, but I will try my best. Vidite ni quisiate. That was all my childhood friend Anthony Beechworth had written in his, in his letter. Oh, is this me? It had been many years since I had heard that sentence. It was the motto of the science and philosophy group that we had secretly run as students back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland, but we had left it all behind, like mere childhood memories. Yeah, it was definitely Latin if it's a science society. That letter was unusual. It could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret, so I will burn the letter like I just did. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex and made my way to the address of the letter. I guess I should be giving this guy, like, an English accent, but I'm not going to do that. 
And there it was, the old house of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Manor. Oh, haunted house, wonderful. In the old English countryside. Episode one, the letter. All right, so I guess we're actually playing the game now. Um, lens, what does that do? I don't know what the lens does. I'm guessing I don't need it right now. Uh, so I guess I just go up the door. This is strange. Everything is silent, as if there was no one living here. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Yeah, about that. My coat. Oh, okay, so it automatically uses the lens when I need to. I guess that means I'm looking at things. A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all this years in your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. I'm guessing those were the servants. Hmm, wonder what situation has become unbearable. Is this Anthony? The years have not been kind to him. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Okay, so I can go in that door or this door. Uh, let's go over here. Looks like a parlor, I guess. Gramophone? Machine that plays recorded music. I did not know that Anthony was such an enthusiast of new inventions. A cabinet with glasses and some liquor bottles. There is also a matchbox. Can, can I pick it up? These matches could come in useful. Hooray! And thus begins my life of crime. I think a recording or sound of, of sound or music can be played if an engraved cylinder or disc is inserted, but I see no such object from this device. Okay, so if I come across one of those, I shall use it with the Z gramophone. Fireplace. It looks like it has not been cleaned in a long time. That large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Well, maybe you should close it. Oh, you can't? Okay. Uh, anything else we can interact with? Or just the door? Oh, what's up there? A dare head overlooks the room with glass eyes. Oh, is that what that is? Let's try this door. Oh, jeez. Okay. A seascape. There is a small boat struggling against the roaring waves. Okay, there's a lot of rooms here. A rainy mountain landscape. I'm gonna lose my I'm gonna lose my way in this house. I can see that happening right now. Oh my gosh, there's so many doors. Oh, this must be the kitchen. A variety of herbs and ingredients. The kitchen stove and a cleaning cloth. Plates and pans plate with some day-old leftovers. Anything else? No? I have unlatched the door. Does this go outside? Uh, what is happening over there? A murder of crows is eating eagerly. There are so many birds I cannot see the prey from here. Yikes. A garbage bin. Judging by the foul odor, I would say it has not been emptied in a fortnight. Okay. Oh, I'm back at the front of the house. Alright. Can I go back? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's a thing. At least the doors stay open so I know where I've been. This portrait is crooked. Can I fix it? There we go. Oh, oh, okay. An old rosary, a cord of beads with a solid wooden crucifix. Okay, well, if I run into any vampires, I'm set. This painting depicts a deep, dark forest. Oh God, so many creepy rooms. A wash basin and some toiletries. A lamp to light the way. Can I get it? Excellent. There's nothing of interest in these drawers. Alright. There's a discoloration on the wall in the shape of a cross, as if one had hung there for many years and had been recently removed. Can I use the rosary on it? No. Okay, never mind. 
An empty bowl, like the ones used to feed pets. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. March 5th, 1891. Master Anthony has made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I have found a place to hide my rosary. I cannot pray every night without it. Well, I already found it, so... May 18th, 1891. Master Anthony has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I cannot let the poor thing starve. He is such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about Master Anthony. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th. Master Anthony is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. Oh dear. The window is so dirty that I can barely see through to the outside. Empty bowl, like the ones used to feed pets. So if the window's open, that means a cat will come, right? Looks like the window frame is rotten. It would need some kind of cord to hold the window open. Okay. I don't know why I would need a cat, but... A small print brings some life to this place. Man, I'm digging this game so far. The store is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. All right, so that's everything here. So let's go back to the entrance way. Oh God, I'm just waiting for something creepy to happen. I just have that feeling, you know? Let's go this way. Can we go up the stairs or is this just, I don't know if this is up the, oh. Okay, spooky music. Can I use the lamp? Can, can I use the lamp? How do I use an item? No. Oh god, I'm gonna go in the spooky darkness. This door's stuck. It won't open. Oh, great. Oh. It's too dark. I can't go any further. Oh, wait, do I use the matches with the lamp? There we go! Look at me. And now I'm walking very slowly. How fun. Why do you walk so slowly when you have a lamp? Oh gosh, why is that door boarded up? My doorway has been boarded up. <laughs> you don't say. Can I do anything about it? They are firmly nailed down. I cannot remove them with my bare hands. All right, so I'm guessing a crowbar is in my future. Oh, that door's open, okay. Can I open this one? No. It is locked from the inside. Alright, well, let's go in this door. Oh, okay. So, I guess I don't need to worry about fuel for the lamp, then. A double bed. From the accumulated dust, I would guess it has not been slept in for a very long time. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. The fireplace is black with soot. A silver key. Well, then pick it up, my friend. Assuming it's for one of those doors. Small photographs and old daguerreotypes, mostly family, family portraits. This window leads to a balcony shared with the adjacent room. Okay. Is it locked? I cannot open the latch, it's stuck. Perhaps I could do so with using a small tool. Okay. So, the only locked door was the one downstairs, right? Because this one was stuck? Door's stuck, it won't open. Okay. God, you walk so slowly when you have the lamp, it freaks me out. Alright, let's go check that locked door. It was down at the end of this hall, right? This door is locked. I should try and find the key to open it. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, really? Not sweet. Oh, God. Where am I? Wine cellar? I think this is a slate disc record. The sleeve reads, The Carnival of Venice. We'll pick it up, my friend. Oh, is this the wine cellar? 
I've watched other people play Amnesia. I don't like wine cellars. Is that a lever? A slightly rusted iron crowbar. Excellent. Pick that up. A small pile of firewood, twigs, and chunks of dry bark. I'm just waiting for a monster to show up at this point. <sighs> the boiler looks like he's been out, for, out of use for a long time. Okay. Uh, nothing else in here? Well, we've got a record and a crowbar, so that's progress. I'm assuming the crowbar is for the boarded up area, because, you know, we really want to go in there. Okay, out of the creepy wine cellar, yes please. Oh, why are we going in here? I wonder if I could use the rosary on the window to keep it open. All right. Cold wind of the evening is relief in the suffocating atmosphere. I don't have anything to feed the cat, unfortunately. When it eventually shows up. All right, uh, let's go up and I guess use the crowbar on that door upstairs. Is it on that door? No. God, why do you walk so slow? You're creeping me out. What if a monster comes running at us? Oh, I guess I should have listened to the record. I didn't even think of that. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, okay. D was he saying something? I didn't even notice. I was too busy freaking out. Leave me alone. Dead body. Ugh. The lifeless body of a woman. It has been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I do not know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger, with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I do not know what shadow has slowly darkened our lives. I do not know this foreign guest that now dwells in our souls. I do not know where it is from, but I am sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. Oh my god. Simple long hairpin. Okay. Writing on the walls reads, leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? An old wheelchair. Nothing of interest on this dressing table. Oh, you didn't take the hairpin? Come on, dude. Thank you. Oh, what is this? It is a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our service... Our service, I guess you mean our servants, left a few days ago. Without their help and company, I am lost. I can barely walk out of bed, and not even the doctor will come here after his argument with Anthony. My husband has developed a horrible ability to break anyone's will. I do not know what to do. I do not have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. Your dear friend, Anna Beechworth. God, that's sad. A letter in a feeble handwriting. I cannot go on. All is lost. Is a diary page. I cannot stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. But who are they but dust and bones? Memory. Leave me. I do not need you. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Uh, do I want to go in here? Uh. The music stopped, and I think that's creepier. Also, what was that... What's a ding-ding sound? God. Woman of strong features and dark hair. She has a bold look in her eyes. She looks like the woman on the bed. She's holding a baby. Could that be Anthony's child? This old man bears some resemblance to Anthony, but his countenance is marred by a severe, unsettling gaze. This young woman, not yet in her 20s, stares defiantly back at me. What is making that noise? Man with blonde hair. I feel as if I've seen him before. 
Portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wild cat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. Interesting. Can I use the hairpin on it? No. What is that ding ding sound? Young Anthony, just like I remember him. What is the ding ding sound? Oh, there's a big raven perched outside the window, tapping on the glass with its beak. Weird. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll go and listen to the record. Why was she boarded up in her room? That's my question. Alright. Where'd that grandma phone at? Unless you broke it, I do not ha know how to make it stop. Oh, are you serious? Use the hairpin. This won't work. Burn it to the ground. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my god, stop. Oh god. The, the music has abruptly stopped. Th thank you. Ah! Okay. Hi. Okay. That's that's a lot of ravens. Okay. Uh yeah, okay, bye. Yeah, that was a thing. Okay. Oh god, why? Oh, I'm sorry you didn't like the music, guys. I just, you know. Okay. Well, that was fun. What other rooms have we not been in? This one's stuck, right? This door's stuck. Lock it. I can't force lock this tough with this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why can I get this open? I can't open the latch, it's stuck. Perhaps I could do it using a small tool, like a hairpin? Ah, oh, yeah. Using the hairpin, I managed to spring the latch with ease. Uh... Okay, I found his science room. A lynx, mounted and stuffed. This is a fine work of taxidermy. That, is that the one from the painting, I wonder? A few press cuttings pinned on the wall. The Illustrated London News, 1887. Judge kills himself under strange circumstances. The Daily Telegraph, 1888. Earl found dead, floating in the Thames. The Times. Why did the music suddenly cut out? 1889. Famous actor found blood to death in his hotel room. Why do you have news clipper painting? Why do you have news clippings of, like, deaths? Map of the region of Sussex with markings drawn on its surface. Some strange books written in a language unknown to me. Remains of chemical experiments. Some sort of spell spilled chemical product. It smells strongly of vinegar. A can of paint thinner. I will take it for some reason. Do, do, do. A common hammer. I will take it. Is this a letter? Some torn out diary pages. They will not bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorous gazes, their whispers. Tis already, there's only one thing left to do. What is going on? Okay, so I, did I come in through the window? Yes. Okay, so there's the ladder. Let's go back. There's the ladder and this door. I'm guessing this just leads back out into the hallway. 
Yes, okay. So let's go up the ladder. On top of the ladder, there's a trapdoor with a keyhole reinforced with gold. Okay. So I need a gold key, I'm guessing. Can I use the hammer on that stuck door down here? love the music in this game. No, I can't. Why not? Hmm. I don't know what the paint thin- Oh, I know what the paint thinner's for. It's for that painting where the paint looks strange around the lynx's head, remember? Yeah, let's go in there and figure that out. I'm so sorry, Anna. Alright. It was this one, right? Portrait of Anthony standing beside a mounted wall cat or lynx. The paint looks fresher around the animal's head. Then we shall use the can. Oh, are you serious? I cannot pour the thinner directly onto the canvas. It would remove every layer of paint. The fresh image, as well as whatever originally lay beneath. So I need a paintbrush? Is that what you're telling me? Hmm... All right, let's go back and see if the cat showed up in that room after. So I don't think there's anything else here I can interact with. I don't know what the hammer's for. Guess I'll find out. Are all the ravens still there? You guys are freaking me out. All right, this was the kitchen, right? So let's pop out here and see if those ravens are still here. Nope. They're in my house now, right? A dying crow, not much life left in it. Really, I'm gonna take the dead crow with me? Dude, you need help. Okay, uh, is that what I'm feeding the cat? So that's horrible. Oh god, it's still making noises. Really? I'm a monster. Uh, there's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Okay. Oh god, really? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing. Come get this kitty. I've laid the crow on the pole because I'm a weirdo. Oh god. Uh, yeah, I've already done that. Do I need to leave the room and then come back in? Nope. Okay, it's still not there. Okay. I hear something in the distance. It sounds like a lament. Uh, in here? Oh! Oh, okay. Where did the crow go? Uh, into the hole in the wall. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. The crow is gone. Oh god, really? I'm so sorry, Crow. What am I hearing? Oh, God. No, not the cat. Oh, come on. I can't handle it when bad things happen to cats. Yes, I hear you, kitty. Where are you? You're going to jump out and scare me, aren't you? Cat seems to be behind this wall. Hammer, hammer it! Save the kitty! A black cat is staring at me, but wait, its eyes are missing? Ah! Okay, good lord. It almost ripped my eyes out. It's run away into the dark. There's an open chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. What? This knife could be useful. 
<laughs> My cat's uh, offering up some sound effects. There's nothing else useful here. Oh, I can't take the cloak. That would make me look like a badass. Boyless has been out of use for a long time. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I don't like those sounds. Can okay, whatever is making those sounds please stop? Thank you very much. All right. So actually, I think guys, I'm gonna end this part here. Wow, I'm really digging this game. I love the music, the ambiance. I know it's like very pixely but oh my gosh it's still creeping me out so let me know what you guys think of this game down in the comment section are you excited to see more of it also if you have any suggestions for horror games you would like to see me play on the channel uh please leave them down in the comment section i would love to get suggestions from you guys i have a few ideas of games i would like to play but i am always open to suggestions from you guys and if you are enjoying this series so far, please remember to press the like and subscribe buttons. It really does mean a lot to me, and I really do appreciate all of your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.